Game three in this Eastern Conference round one contest. It's been a lopsided 2-0 series, but that might change tonight. Tonight, it'll be the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Boston Celtics. Brian Anderson here alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us from the floor. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. White and Brown with the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. You look at Atlanta. This is a must-win game for them after they were unable to steal either of the first two. Yeah, must-win indeed. Falling behind 3-0 as the lower seed is a death sentence. This team wanted a better round one performance than they've had so far. From falls for him. Becoming a more consistent offensive weapon. Murray finding ways to contribute. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. White against Murray. Porzingis with a screen on Murray. Goes up on the baseline. White can't hit. And it's Atlanta's ball. Murray with it. Now guarded by White. White with the steal. And here's Holiday. to Tatum. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Hunter. Here's Young. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Outside Holiday. Outside Brown. Over Hunter. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. Young looking over the floor. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Celtics. Here's the pick. The three sinks it from distance. How about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. Pass to Capella. Capella, screen on Holiday. Now here's Murray. To the middle. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Outside Holiday from the arc. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. For Atlanta, they've gone 2 of 3 from the floor. Bogdanovich against Brown. Bogdanovich passes to Hunter. Down low. Here's Young. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for 2. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Getting better at finding ways to draw fouls. Young just daring the D to get physical. Two shots. Free throw is good. Young. Like a lot of smaller guys, there's a real ferocity to Trey Young's game. He's willing to scrap to get what he wants. goes in. Two from the line that time. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Bogdanovich against Brown. To the inside. Porzingis passes to Holiday. Tatum against Hunter. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Clock at four. Hey, rejected by Capella. Yeah, great timing on the denial by Capella. Able to get a piece of the ball on that one. 
Tatum against Murray. Capella, the pass to Murray. And here's Hunter from the arc. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Capella's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, offensively, Capella's game is grabbing offensive boards. You have to put a body on him. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Here's Murray. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Knocked away. Takes one from 10 feet. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Great play by Porzingis. Love seeing the zinger engaged on D. Austin Trailer. White, the pass to Holiday. Now here's Porzingis, defended by Murray. Porzingis is double. Outside, Brown. They still need this. Capella with a rebound. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Here's Murray. Oh, made it a tough look for him as the defense really pressed up on him. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Pass to Brown from behind the arc. He drops it from range. Brown's got five. Gotta love the confidence. Brown wasting no time firing away. Outside Hunter. And here is Young. And here's Bogdanovich, defended by Brown. Six on the shot clock. Here's Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Outside White. Porzingis against Capella. Shot from the wing. And that one's good, Porzingis. At this stage of his career, Porzingis understands which shots to take, letting the offense come to him naturally. Now here's Young. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Holiday. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. White finds Tatum. Bogdanovich against Brown. And it's all tied up. He's got seven. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Time called time here. Time the Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn Martin. things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Changes for Boston. Horford, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. To Young. Here's the break. Here's White. And that misses. That would have put him up. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. Screen by Capella. Inside. And Pritchard pulls it down. For Boston, they've gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. And here's Brown for three. And Young pulls it down. Murray looking around. Pass to Young to win the drought. 
It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Young's got six. He's gotten so good at finding the open man. Murray does it again. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Young. Horford against Hunter. Back to Brown. Here's Pritchard. Clock at six. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And here's Brown for three. Drains the triple. Ten points for him. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Bogdanovich finds Murray. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Boston. From the tip, they are not making things easy on them. Lots of steals playing disruptive basketball. They've also done a good job defensively so far tonight, just making it tough all around on shooters, and it shows in their block numbers. And the Hawks making a change here. Fernando's checked in. Every team in this league wants a Jalen Brown, a tremendous two-way wing, and boy, Brown can put up giant offensive numbers. Now here's Murray. Pass to Young. For three. Horford pulls it in. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Now here's Brown. Horford outside. Outside White. From the low block. Out to Horford. Fires the three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. The veteran savvy of Horford. I mean, he does an outstanding job going at the defense and drawing the whistle. No good on the free throw. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. Matthews, he's checked in for the Hawks. The Celtics also with a sub. Tatum's checked in. That one misses. third shot he finally gets it to fall and so Murray will bring it up for Atlanta trailing by five Young the pass to Murray to the paint here's Fernando and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam and if you try to block his shot you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage up top Horford pass to White and the call is going to be, That's yes, great. an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Atlanta's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. On the wing, Murray. The kick out to Young. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Pass to Hunter. Here's Fernando. Shot clock at six. The Hawks need to get one up here. Murray for three. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. 
Here's Pritchard, guarded by Young. Horford against Hunter. Pass to White. From deep. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. And the Celtics lead by six. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Now Young. Wide open look. Again, Atlanta. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. White against Murray. White, the pass to Porzingis. From six feet away. Nice touch on the bank shot. One of the tallest guys in the league. Give Porzingis the ball there and just let him work. We've got 155 left in the opening quarter. Fernando pass to Young. And it's Atlanta scoring again. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Porzingis with a screen on Young. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. And Horford powers it home. Look at Horford just rocketing off the floor. Putting the defense on notice with a big dunk. Now time timeout time called by Atlanta. Guarded. He's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for White. Team left in the first quarter of the game. Oh, they get a hand on it. And here's the fast break. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Young. the first both shots good from the strike the Hawks trailing A minute four left to play in the first quarter. Here's Matthews. Yet to see a basket. Outside Young. Pass to Hunter. Inside, Fernando. And he throws it down with one hand. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Now here's Holiday. Horford outside. Here's Tatum. 
Outside Holiday. Let's the three fly. Buffkin with a rebound. Atlanta's gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Outside Young. Hunter on the wing. 19 seconds left in the opening quarter. Five on the clock. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. First one falls. Free throws good for Hunter. Here's Tatum. Screen by Horford. Good if it goes. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Celtics up by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Yeah, they're putting pressure on all the ball handlers, getting into the passing lanes and showing great anticipation. The Celtics with the lead. On the court right now for the Celtics. We've got Drew Holiday, Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Peyton Pritchard, and it's Hauser in at the three. Now here's Holiday. No points yet. The shot's good. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Pass to Matthews. And here's Griffin. Denied by Tatum. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. Horford finds Holiday. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Hauser. Clock is at three. Gets the three to fall. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Quarter number two with just over a minute to play. Fernando pass to Griffin. Puts it up from 12. Boston with a rebound. Here's Hauser. Pass to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Here's Horford. Guarded by Young. Here's Hauser. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And for Atlanta, they're shooting around 41%. Griffin passes to Young. And there's the call on Al Horford. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Here's 
Bufkin. He's covered by Holiday. Top of the key. Atlanta again missing. And that's a low percentage shot, and I'm sure he knows it. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Like, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Now here's Tatum. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. And Tatum drills the three. Back-to-back three -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Poke loose. It's stolen by Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Fernando. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Tatum against Griffin. Shot on the wing. Fernando grabs the miss. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Who poked away. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Griffin pulls down the board. The Hawks have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Pass to Young. Fires from deep. Boston with a rebound. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Tatum passes to Horford. Horford gets it done inside. Yeah, the moment Horford has the rock down low, good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. Now timeout, timeout, timeout called by Atlanta. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Bogdanovich finds Griffin. Pass to Young. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. Team seven. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Fernando. And a two-handed jam! A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Now Tatum. He's got six. That three's off the mark. Right side, Bogdanovich. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Yeah, what a look. I mean, Young, a high-level passer. On the wing, Tatum. Looking to get it going. Got it. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Hunters checked in for Griffin. At the line for your Hawks. DeJounte Murray. One shot. One shot. And Murray, no good on that one. 
Boston has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Pass to Horford. Deflects the pass. Bogdanovich against Holiday. The rebound by Bogdanovich. The Hawks have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Outside Young. And Pritchard pulls it down. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Holiday looking for an opening. And here's Horford for three. The shot no good. The Hawks trailing. Outside Young. Pass to Murray. Here's Pritchard. Lays it up and banks it in. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Now here's Murray. He's got six. Young misses. Here's Hauser. Guarded by Young. Here's Tatum. Pass to Holiday. Here's Pritchard. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Bogdan Bogdanovich. And the first one at the line is good. And the Hawks making a change here. Capel is checked in. And so he hits both. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. A 12-point game. Pass to Young. Here's the three. Tatum pulls it in. The Celtics have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Here's Pritchard. Hunter covering. Back to Tatum. Jacks up a three. The rebound by the Hawks. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Murray against White. Pass to Capella. Tipped away. Six to shoot. Here's White. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. White against Murray. Back to Young. To the inside. Capella. And a slam dunk by Capella. You want to take away the shooting of Young, but in the pick and roll, Trey can dish it effectively. Boston has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Porzingis. There's the three. Rebound, Trey Young. The Hawks have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. From outside the arc. Offensive rebound. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got four points this quarter. You've got to do more than that to slow Capella. He doesn't let the defense rattle him at all. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Tatum from long range. And Young pulls it down. Young's got four rebounds in the game. Up and in on the layup. 
Young's got 12 points. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Tatum against Hunter. Now here's Tatum. He's covered closely. The kick out to White. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Intelligent play by Tatum. Moving the ball to get an open shot. Murray passes to Capella. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. When they time that play right, Capella is a good man to have on the end of it. He's a strong finisher when he rolls off the screen. White, the pass to Pritchard. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Right side, Young. Young, cash from mid-range. What intensity from Young in the paint. Not backing off because of some coverage. Tatum against Hunter. Leaner from distance. The rebound by the Hawks. Young's got five rebounds in the game. Floats one up. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. They recover it. Hunter, good. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first half of basketball. It's Brown on the wing. From nine feet, the D by Bogdanovich. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Back to Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. We've got 108 left in the second. Murray against White. Back to Tatum. Clock at six. Drills it from deep. Tatum's got 11 points. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Murray with it. Six points for him. Capella, screen on white. Murray passes to Capella. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got five assists in the game. Brown against Bogdanovich. White on the wing. Pass to Tatum. White with it. Defended by Murray. Outside, Brown. Over Bogdanovich. Brown, no good. Bogdanovich on the wing. Defended by Brown. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Now, we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it, too. And so it's Boston up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period, just pounding the painted area. That's helped him build an advantage. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Coach Quinn Snyder with us now, and Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? It had nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're like walking the ball up the court. Whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Some great postseason action in the first half of play. A healthy lead has been built for the Boston Celtics. They're putting themselves in really good position, limiting turnovers, making the most of each possession. That's a stat that can be overlooked, but so critical to winning ballgames. Checking out how the Hawks are doing in this series. Some would look at this game as a must win in the series. 
What are the keys to getting it done? For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball. Treating every possession like it's your last. And defensively, you got to be extra hungry. Chase on every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, but no one's an expert, Ernie. I am. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Celtics. They held a 12-point lead earlier. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at center. So that's the Hawks' five. And for Atlanta, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. Pass to Capella. Capella, screen on white. Back to Capella. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. He's such a bruising physical player. Capella is often tough to guard without fouling. Two shots. That's good from Capella. Yeah, one of the best rim runners in the game. Capella is underappreciated at times because he doesn't fit the mold of the modern big. But he rebounds, defends, and takes shots he knows he can make. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum looking it over. Driving in. The length and athleticism of Tatum is something that was like, you can't blame the D for fouling him there. That's just something that's going to happen. Shooting two. down the first one. Now look, from the moment he stepped into this league, Jason Tatum has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic, and most importantly, winners. And so Tatum nails both of them. Now here's Young. Over Holiday. Young can't hit. Boston on offense. They lead by 11. Tatum passes to Holiday. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Porzingis with a screen on Bogdanovich. Here's Brown. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. Brown so fast off the drive. Tougher defenders to keep up. Shooting two. And he drops the first. off on the second here's Atlanta with the ball down by 12 got a piece of it Capella the pass to Young over Holiday the putback controls the rebound and the putback 
Time after time, it's been Capella. He's doing damage. Bogdanovich against Brown. Pass to Tatum. Now here's White. And here's Brown for three. And Brown knocking down the triple. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. And here's Capella. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. I think Murray knows exactly what he's doing. He's going to go to that defender knowing he's going to get contact. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Brown passes to Porzingis. Here's Tatum. Rebound Atlanta. Outside Murray. Pass to Hunter. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his third foul of the game. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Capella screen on Holiday. Young from long range. He buries it from three. Young's got 17. The Trey Young can change the course of a game with his outside shooting. Porzingis with a screen on Murray. Here's White. And that one hits the back iron. The Hawks have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Steps back and shoots. And Murray with a nice bucket inside. Ten points for him. He has no problem going in there with the big trees because Murray is focused on that possession. Outside Porzingis. Outside Holiday. This one for three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. And the Celtics lead by nine. And that's on the defense there. Gotta know the scouting report and understand that he loves his shot. To the middle. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Yeah, at the offensive end, more often than not, you'll find Capella at the rim. Pass to Porzingis. Over Capella. That one rolls around and rims out. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. Here's Young. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And they'll get another chance. Capella, screen on Brown. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. And a slam dunk by Capella. They allowed him to establish deep position. You just can't do that. And they need better team defense. How about your man in the post? It takes multiple guys to stop him. Now here's Tatum. 13 points in the game. Pass to Brown. Over Bogdanovich. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist by Porzingis. Brown's got 19 points. And here is Young. 17 points in the game. Down low. And stolen by Porzingis. Stolen by Young. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now Hunter. Hounded by Tatum. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Oh, 
Young against Holiday. Young, the pass to Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Boston has gone two for two from deep here on the third. Tatum against Hunter. Outside White. Pass to Porzingis. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. At seven foot three, Porzingis is a problem. Really makes defenses settle for fouling him and hoping he misses. Let's look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. Great heads up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And their block numbers also stand out to me. Challenging shots at the rim has been a big part of their defensive success. That free throw good from Porzingis. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Chris Stapps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Free throws good from Porzingis. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Outside Murray. Young with a screen on White. Murray against White. Murray passes to Hunter. Shot clock at six. Murray against White. Murray drives in. Count that one. Murray's got six in the quarter. Murray with the ridiculous handle and quickness. He is so aggressive with that move. Pass to Tatum. Over Capella. Again, the miss by the Celtics. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One go try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Young can't hit. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Celtics. Here's Porzingis. Shoots over Capella. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Tatum. Porzingis has got 12 points in the game. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Wow, it's been quite a game for Jalen Brown. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working. The Celtics making a switch here. Warford's checked in. on the wing. Warford covering. Hunter passes to Capella. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. For Boston, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Porzingis sets a screen. Tatum from long range. That one is off. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this run. But maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. Pass to Hunter. Nice D from Brown. The Celtics with the lead. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Here's Brown. Oh, look at Brown. Bang it inside. One of the premier scoring wings in the NBA. Jalen Brown is at it again. Here's Matthews. Outside Hunter. Pass to Capella. Outside Bogdanovich. Four on the clock. Bufkin. 
Fires in the triple. Huskins got his first three points of the game. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Tatum passes to Holiday. And here's Brown for three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 11. Pass to Bufkin. Tatum against Bogdanovich. Now here's Hunter. Tight defense on him. Capella screen on Holiday. Here's Bufkin. The shot, no good. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. The Celtics have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Porzingis in the post. Guarded by Capella. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's really good to see Chris Stapp's inside forcing the issue. We know his outside abilities, but he can also bang down low. Shooting two. First free throw is good. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. So he gets them both. And collectively, as the game has progressed, they've been shooting really well from the charity strike. Here's Bufkin. Outside Bogdanovich. Another three for Atlanta. This speaks to the level of confidence Bogdanovich possesses. Looking to shoot immediately off the catch. Horford is screen on Bogdanovich. Here's Brown. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. And he sinks the second. Atlanta's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Pass to Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Brown, to the middle. And it's Capella with the jam. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Now here's Holiday. Defense is right there. Brown with it. The three. Hunter with the rebound. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Here's Bufkin. Again, Atlanta. Taking full advantage of a gap in the mid-range coverage. And Brown has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Porzingis with a screen on Bogdanovich. And here's Brown for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got four rebounds now. Boy, the offense has been on point. <laughs> they have great timing and great communication. So hard to get stops against them. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Porzingis sets a screen. Brown can't hit. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Bogdanovich. Inside. And it's Capella with the jam. And for them to get out in front, it feels like they're going to need him to lead the way. Minute 32 left to play in the third. Holiday finds Brown. Out to the right wing. 
Horford for three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got five rebounds in the game for the lead. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And credit to Bogdanovich for not giving up there. He gets a shot off and wins a foul for his trouble. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Yeah, one of the more consistent scores in the NBA. Bogdanovich is an asset for this team. Fernando's checked in for Atlanta. Griffin comes in for Hunter. White, he's checked in for Boston. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Pritchard. Give him eight. 105 left in the third quarter. And here's Brown for three. Atlanta with a rebound. Bogdanovich has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Griffin. Here's Fernando. Outside Bogdanovich. To the paint. And he goes in for the dunk. He had a huge height advantage there and did not mess around. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Now White. He's got six. Shot to stop the run. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes a first. White hits them both. The Hawks leading. Here's Bufkin. Five points in the game. It's Griffin. High post. And again, it's Atlanta. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. And for Boston, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Brown against Bogdanovich. 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at five. Porzingis with a screen on Bogdanovich. Here's Brown. Krills, the elbow jumper. Brown's got 11 points in the quarter. Got to be cognizant of where Brown is at all times because this man will torch you. And so it's Clint Capella making things happen for Atlanta. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Quinn Snyder with some words for his players. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Trying to maintain that edge right now. Coach Snyder encouraging his guys. Solid advice from Coach Snyder. Wanting his squad to remain engaged. 
Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. Then it's Derek White. And it's Hauser in at the small forward position. Now here's Horford. Tatum from long range. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. After a tremendous first quarter, three trays, he's put in another. Here's Murray. Horford pulls it in. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Horford with it. Back to Pritchard. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Celtics lead by one. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to Murray. The three is up. And the Hawks with another three. Murray works extremely hard on his game and has put in a lot of time trying to become one of the more consistent players from long range. Tatum against Griffin. That's tipped. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. The 15-footer. Murray, no good. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Pritchard, defended by Murray. To the inside, Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Oh, this is how aggressive Tatum is. Excellent job of getting to the rim and a finish. Just light work. Screen by Capella. Murray up top. And again, it's Atlanta. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Pritchard, the pass to White. Outside Tatum. Takes a three. It's not going to go for him. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Pass to Murray. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Capella. Nice D from Tatum. The Celtics have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Murray against White. Horford is screened on Murray. Here's White. Capella with a block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Capella. And Boston calls time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. Coach told them to adjust on defense, saying they're calling it tight right now. We can keep the same effort, but less reaching in and all that. Don't let them beat us at the line. Let's send it back to you, Brian. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Six on the shot clock. Here's Pritchard. And a miss there on the triple. And the Hawks shooting around 53%. A nice number. Murray against Tatum. Griffin, a screen on Tatum. Here's Murray. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Tatum. The free throw drops from Murray.
and so he makes both from the line. Now here's Tatum. Pulls it from the top of the key. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You love how Tatum commits to his shots. A foul won't stop him from getting an end. one falls for him. And so Tatum nails both of them. <laughs> They've definitely made free throws look easy here in the second half. Griffin outside. Pass to Murray. Here's Bufkin. Capella, screen on white. To the paint. And the slam dunk by Capella. His paint time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, EA. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Now here's White. Tatum passes to White. Now Horford. The three is up. Boston, no good that time either. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Pass to Murray. And the layup is good off the glass. And it's a six-point Hawks lead. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Outside Tatum. Three-pointer. The rebound by Matthews. Matthews got five rebounds in the game. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. Here's Murray. Again, Atlanta. He came out of halftime with renewed focus, heating things up offensively. Boston has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. White finds Tatum. Outside White. Pass to Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. They double-team Tatum. Hauser, that's good. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. For Atlanta, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Now Murray. Now here's Capella. Knocks it loose. Horford with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Can't get the first one. So both teams making some changes here. Good on the second one. Here's Murray. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Murray's got 27 points. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Hunter against Tatum. 
Now here's Holiday, tightly guarded. Outside Tatum. Inside, five to shoot, and yep, it's good. Richard's got five points in the quarter. I love the throwback basketball. Work it down low and set up your teammate. Young from long range. Holiday grabs the miss. The Celtics have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Tatum inside. Young's there. Here's Porzingis. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Pass to Bogdanovich. 11 feet out. And there's Murray. That one's good. And the assist by Bogdanovich. Man, in a tight ball game, it's nice to have him on your team. He's given them life in the fourth quarter, shooting seven for nine. Here's Pritchard. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Young. down the first one. White, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And he makes both free throws. For Atlanta, they've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Outside Murray. Outside Young. Puts up a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got nine rebounds now. Brown passes to Tatum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. Smart play by Tatum. Using the fake to get the contact, get to the line. Little easy two. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Didn't get to the line in the first half, but since the break, he's been in attack mode. Great adjustment. Some changes for Boston. Horford comes in for White, and Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. And so Tatum nails both of them. The Hawks leading. And here's Murray. Down low. Here's Capella. And Porzingis with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. And Atlanta has possession. Murray, shot is good. And he's not about to let this game get away from them. He's 8 for 10 in the fourth quarter. Ooh. Pass to Tatum. Look at Tatum using his length. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them. This quarter is special. On the wing, Murray defended by Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Gotta be careful how you guard Murray, especially when he's looking to score inside.
free throw drops from Murray. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. Drops them both. Boston trailing. White, the pass to Brown. Oh, Brown just throws it down. I'm not going to lie. Jalen Brown, his hops are different. Holiday against Young. Over Holiday. Young misses. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. An authoritative play by Porzingis, dominating the glass and getting the second chance look. Young against Holiday. Young can't hit. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. Spins. And then Tatum slams it in. It is the sheer confidence of Tatum, ready to put his team on his back. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Young against Holiday. Shoots from the line. That's good on the jumper. Young's got 19 points. You see the trust Young's guys have in him. When they need a bucket, he gets it for them. White against Murray. He shoots. And Tatum with the basket on the assist by White. White's got assist number seven tonight. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Now here's Young. There's the triple. Connects from downtown. Murray's got 36 points. It seems like Murray is always ready to make the high effort play whenever his team needs it. Here's Tatum. And it's Boston scoring again. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And that's exactly why you don't want to foul here. Young is automatic at the free throw line. Oh, the first one drops, and that gives him a lead. So he gets them both, and it's a two-point ball game. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. against Tatum. It's Brown on the wing. Three-pointer. Holiday. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Young inside. He's covered by Holiday. They get it again! From downtown, Young misses. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Back to Tatum. Just five on the clock. Outside White. Fires the three. The rebound by the Hawks. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Holiday finds White. Tatum against Murray. 
Tatum draws the double. White for three. It's good from beyond the arc. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. behind by one 26 seconds left to play in the fourth Six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Capella screen on Holiday. Young, the pass to Capella. And he buries it. Big time play from Capella. This guy knows how to deliver in these moments. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. If they've got a surefire quick bucket play, uh, let's just say now's the time to use it. Tatum. Takes the three. And he drills the triple. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. And so it's Boston who scrapes by with the win. And now that they're up 3-0. Winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. It's a lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of poise, and uh, we'll be fine. Poise normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum.